It's Tuesday. Let's go. This is kind of a rant video. Sun's coming in hot. It's kind of a rant video, but it may just be more calm. But I wanted to speak to something that's been going on in our society now for a little while that I think is pretty tragic, and that's cancel culture. Uh, cancel culture is, in fact, a perversion of the market speaking. And what I mean by that is, in America, we have a blended economy where we have a vibrant capitalist concept where everyone can partake in it in some form or another. Um, as well as we have you know, government jobs, government industry, or government infrastructure that provides sort of a baseline or a foundation for our capitalism that hopefully uh, makes things more fair and more uh, equitable. I would argue in more recent times that hasn't been the case. That's probably a different video. But cancel culture is a perversion. And what I mean by that is in a capitalist society or a society like ours where capitalism is strong and vibrant within it, we as the consumer, we as the customer base, we have the ability <clears throat> in a much easier sense to get rid of a company we don't like or don't agree with philosophically than we do say our government. It's far easier for us if we really if we really wanted Amazon and Jeff or Steve Bezos, whatever his name is, to pay his workers more money, it would actually be very easy for us to do that by simply just none of us buying anything with Amazon for six months, having a list of demands that would be reasonable, like paying every employee at Amazon, fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year minimum, which maybe that's what they make now. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, it would actually be very easy for us as a customer-consumer base to influence Amazon in a positive manner, while by withholding our funds, so that the executives and leadership of Amazon would ensure that they pay their workers more fairly, and it would be a more equitable situation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is how the market speaks and or can speak, okay? That's an honest expression. My wife and I, we don't shop at Goodwill anymore. I'm sorry, we don't shop at Walmart anymore. Walmart is terrible. The company teaches their employees how to get on welfare and get government assistance while paying them abysmally low wages, while also, too, the family that owns Walmart uh, gathers into themselves a lot of money and I want people to be successful. I want I want there to be billionaires. However, I don't believe it should be at the expense of anyone nor should it be at the expense of the American people. That's a different video. But <clears throat> my wife and I, we don't shop at Walmart. At least I don't think she does. I don't shop at Walmart. The point is this. <clears throat> By my wife and I not shopping at Walmart, we've taken, we've taken a stand. We've made a choice. We don't identify or agree with that company's philosophy, how they treat their workers, uh, how they send money to the top and everyone at the bottom you know, is basically struggling. There's another video too why people would even allow themselves to accept that. That's a whole other video on personal responsibility. But anyways, with my wife and I, we don't shop at Walmart. That's an expression of the market speaking concerning a certain business model that I don't agree with, <clears throat> that I think that philosophically is diametrically opposed to me and how I want to treat my people when people work for me. That's an organic, what my wife and I are doing is organic, is really noble and just. Cancel culture is not that. What cancel culture has turned out to be is a group of uh, wildly loud leftist individuals who ha don't have a fucking brain in their head about anything concerning transgenderism, concerning uh, the treatment of children, concerning economics. They don't understand shit. And what what happens is is that a company will um, it'll come out that a company donated to Donald Trump, or you'll see a, a sex professor, a, a person who has studied and developed their uh, acumen in the uh, research of human sexuality and comes out with a book that speaks to transgenderism and how dangerous it is for uh, young kids to start taking hormones before puberty, etc., etc. And then the wild leftist and the, the fearful liberals that want to go along with them, very similar to what happened with the Bolshevik Revolution. That's a whole other video too, but they will sick via uh, mechanisms like Twitter and Facebook and other other uh, social media mechanisms. They'll sick 
this mob of people on them to on these individuals that are now deemed you know enemies of the state to ruin their livelihood and their ability to earn money because you know these people these wild leftists say well you know <clears throat> you're you, you're uh, you hate transgenders or you're anti-gay you're whatever whatever because the messaging of the individual's book or the business model or they donated to Trump or whatever or maybe they're conservative doesn't line up <clears throat> entirely with what these people right now and and I sad to say people on the right are doing it too uh, it came out that one of the co-owners of Black Rifle Coffee Company actually donated to Bernie Sanders and now I'm sorry Bernie Sanders and now some uh, Second Amendment absolutists <clears throat> are trying to basically cancel Black Rifle Coffee, which is stupid. It, it, it's so dumb. But anyways, predominantly this happens on the left because of issues of transgenderism, uh, s supposed racism, uh, whatever the case, whatever other hot-button topic we've talked about in 2020 when we were all forced to stay home because of a cold and forced to just be enveloped into our phones and social media. Anyhow... Um, Cancel culture is the perversion of the market speaking. If I say something like, I really don't think a prepubescent child should be given hormones to change their bodily uh, functions, and not functions, excuse me, but their biology, that's dangerous. And then someone says, you're, you're anti-transgender human rights. We're going to cancel you. We're, we're going to take away your business. That's a perversion. It's also uh, philosophically utterly wrong in that the people who have been attempted to be canceled and or the mob has gone after them, many times these are ineffectual people who have a small sphere of influence, who have a small uh, audience in comparison to someone like Steve Bezos or Jeff Bezos, whatever his name is, uh, with Amazon. You know, sure, idiots put a guillotine outside of, you know, Jeff Bezos's house, Steve Bezos, whatever his name is. But I guarantee you those same fucking idiots probably purchased something on Amazon that week. My wife and I, I you know, I, I'm ashamed to admit it in some ways, we did all of our Christmas shopping on Amazon. My point is, what, we, what the cancel culture chooses to cancel typically are people who don't actually have the ability to change the reality of workers. They don't actually have the ability to change the reality of of a marketplace. So a good example of that. You know, we people have gone after multiple social media. Great example is Alex Jones. You know, he, that, that was a coordinated hit to deplatform him. Whether you like Alex Jones or hate him is irrelevant. That was a coordinated hit to get rid of him because of things that were said about Sandy Hook. But really more importantly, it was actually an attempt by left wing uh, tech to see if they could actually deplatform someone without the backlash of deplatforming someone, which it worked, and that's and that's tragic. But what's interesting is that Alex Jones was canceled. People like him have been canceled, but Alex Jones can't change the reality of thousands of employees who are working for Amazon, <clears throat> who could stand to have their wages increased, while you know really working hard, working 40, 50 hours a week. We're not canceling. <clears throat> Amazon. We're not canceling Jeff Bezos. The people that cancel businesses and individuals, they're canceling them because those individuals and those businesses don't line up ideologically exactly with what these wild leftists, the now, these wild people on the right that are mimicking the playbook of the left, which is tragic. You're supposed to be better than that, people on the right. That's another discussion. But this whole notion of cancel culture is, in fact, a perversion of the market speaking. It isn't real. It isn't just. It's a lie. It's a bullying tactic to get people to comply with an individual's way of thinking, which honestly, when I speak to a lot of these people, most of them don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. They're still watching CNN. They've done no research whatsoever on any of these topics. They're just believing at face value what they're told because there's great social credits, at least emotionally, given to someone who post on Twitter or YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, fight capitalism, all this wild shit that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> There's great social credit and sort of a, I'm a part of the tribe that's given to people that participate in that hilarity. All the while, 
None of it is just. None of it is, is rooted in any type of logical expression. It's all just fraudulent. Cancel culture is that. It is a perversion. It is a lie. It is fraudulent. It is nothing close to the market speaking in an organic, noble fashion. It is, in fact, the mechanism of the market speaking where I don't like somebody's company. I'm not going to shop there anymore. It is that mechanism, but it's perverted and twisted to say, this person said prepubescent kids shouldn't get hormones, hormone treatments. We got to cancel them, which is really, again, a bullying tactic. It's a mechanism to, to manufacture compliance concerning an issue that is extremely intense, very, very uh, important to talk about an actual conversation, especially concerning the man who created the sexual reassignment surgery, he abandoned it, I think, like, he abandoned the whole process, like, three or four years into it, saying that the vast majority of people will either grow out of it or they will become fully functioning adults and move into that new identity. So, again, all of this stuff, I'm not trying to get political, I'm just trying to talk about the reality of cancel culture. All of this stuff is fraudulent. It's all a lie. Not, n- none of it is... None of it is factual. If someone says cancel whatever, <clears throat> and those same people are shopping at Amazon or they're going to Walmart or they're doing any other, uh, or I'm sorry, are they participating in capitalism in any other way with any company that really is probably doing things wrong, but all the while they want to cancel someone that wrote a book about, I don't know, whatever, and it doesn't line up with their political ideology, those people are fraudulent, just like cancel culture. It's a fraudulent system. In the hometown that I'm from, there's three Jimmy John stores. The gentleman that owns the Jimmy John stores is a black guy. I've known him now for years. I used to be a bouncer. He would drink at the bar a lot. He purchased these three stores from the owner, the franchise owner of the stores. Here's my point. When it came out that the CEO of Jimmy John's, the guy that started the whole company, donated to Donald Trump, people in my hometown were saying we should boycott Jimmy John's. I then jumped on a social media platform and said, hey, please don't do that. Uh, This guy is a good guy. He's a father. He's a husband. He works hard. Uh, He's a local member in our community. He just happens to be a franchise owner of a larger company, franchise store owner of a larger company where the CEO gave gave money to Trump. Let's not cancel this guy because the CEO did something you don't agree with. Unfortunately, some people disagreed with me. Some people said, nope, we got to make sure that no money goes to the top. So if we got to sacrifice this guy, this local good guy, uh, in the home, father, married to his wife, faithful. <clears throat> you know, they, they said, if we got to sacrifice him, so be it. I mean, that's, that's insane. This is a local community member who's wealthy because he works hard. And we want to take away his wealth because somebody who he maybe has never even met gave money to Donald Trump. That's cancel culture. Cancel culture is fucking stupid, especially when those same people that were saying boycott the Jimmy John's here in my hometown are probably shopping with Amazon. They're probably going to fucking Walmart. They're probably going to all these places that treat their employees like shit. They're happy to give the actual corporate monsters money while simultaneously destroying a local person's community. It's the insanity of leftist logic. It's the insanity of leftist ideology concerning capitalism and how to control the market and or influence the market. Cancel culture is a perversion. If you have participated in it and if you are are a proponent of it, I would encourage you, abandon it today because all you will do is make enemies of your fellow neighbors. That's all you're going to do. And if we keep making enemies of one of, of one another, especially in business, we will eventually have serious conflict. And we, at all odds, or at all costs, we should avoid that. Cancel culture is a perversion. Now, if you don't like Amazon or Walmart, I don't like Walmart, we don't shop there. I want to stop shopping at Amazon altogether. If, we, if you don't like that and you don't want to shop there because uh, philosophically th- those companies don't line up with your compass – great. Stop shopping there. My caveat to that is not only, not only do that, but at the same time too, then go to the local places, the local stores, the local businesses and invest your money there and you will pay more. And that's just, that's just the sad truth. The local guy or gal is going to charge you more, but you should view it as an investment into your own community. 
which again, that philosophy is entirely different from cancel culture because cancel culture wants to cancel a local business or a church or a person or whatever because they don't line up philosophically with this wild leftist notion and now even wild rightist notion concerning the Second Amendment. They want to cancel them while all the while still giving their money to, to arguably corporate monsters. Cancel culture is a perversion. It's a lie. Don't participate in it. The social credit system you get from it, the social cred you get uh, from participating in fight capitalism and all this dumb shit, it's all a lie. It's fraudulent. Don't be a part of it. Don't participate in it. It's utterly stupid. If you've liked the content, like, share, subscribe. If you've hated it, send it to someone you hate.